Hi, my name's Abena, and I wrote and directed Ladies Day. It's an eight minute comedy drama about a young black woman who goes into her local Afro Caribbean hair salon in Sheffield, which is in the north of England. In there, she hears some quite homophobic conversations. No, she's a lesbian, I can tell. They all just like the want to be men. I've seen it all before, you know. The gayism. I just don't like it when it's too in your face. And it's she just... isn't really sure whether or not to speak up because she thinks that she might be at risk of losing her links to her community. Green. I wanted to do something light, basically. I see a million and one depressing LGBT stories in the art house and the mainstream. So I just wanted to almost challenge myself to be able to um, elicit emotion from people that didn't rely on something negative. You got a boyfriend yet, Emma? No. What are you waiting for? I'm just fussy. You want to watch that? Make the most of your figure while you can. Age, kids, gravity, all I'm going to say. I think a lot of the time in the media, homophobia is talked about as something that is very obvious and clear, like it's violence, it's getting beaten up. And a lot of the time it's really subtle and sometimes you can be in situations where you're like, was that okay, was that not okay? Or you can be in situations where you know you're not comfortable, but it feels like you are making a fuss to um, to kind of challenge that. It feels like you're, you might be ruining everybody's fun or just, you, you know, trying? that whole thing I mean, of not having a sense of humor or Ever something this? like that. You'll never get a boyfriend walking around with chip nail varnish like that. <laughs> when you're sitting through those kinds of conversations, it can feel very stressful and exposing. There's just something about somebody else washing your hair or plaiting your hair. It is so intimate and I think that that is where a lot of those conversations come from because you're so incredibly close to somebody, like physically and like close to your head as well. Even that idea of going in one way and coming out looking slightly different. It's not just about how people look because they go out feeling different about themselves. Um, so yeah, it's just a really good microcosm of the world and a way of showing transformation, not just um, physically, but emotionally. It's an Afro-Caribbean hair salon, so right from the jump I was like, there's going to be a lot of black women in this space. But I also wanted to get a sense that in a black hair salon, it's not usually just black women because black women hairstylists, they can do Afro hair and European hair most of the time, you know? So I definitely wanted to have a sense of community. You just wait till after drummer. <laughs> the place that it was set dictated the, the characters who were in there and it was a joy to do that. I was determined to do that. And when you find the one, Know. There's an idea that drama and violence, trauma, that's real life and then, you know, to do something like a comedy or a romance is like fantastical and not real and fake. You know, a lot of people's experiences isn't like that. Well then, Missy, what do you think? I love it. <laughs>